So here we are in the Springbank section in Byron, part of London. Really like this part of the trail. I don't think you'll find you'll be disappointed with any section of this trail. It's about a year ago today when I visited London um, for the first time in many, many years and discovered the Thames Valley Parkway. I made a video about it and that was probably my second video on the channel. And I just love it so much and I thought I'd make another video. So I'm going to call this Take Two and maybe expand a little bit more on why I really like this trail what it has to offer and i'll go over a few reasons of why i think you should try it if you get the opportunity to do it here big snapping turtle looks like laying the race Well, that demonstrates another reason why I love this trail so much. With lots of sections like that where it's really windy. Even though it's an urban trail, you can actually have a lot of fun. You get a little bit of challenge. There's a few sh uh, short, steep hills we'll see up to around 7%. But again, they're short. It shouldn't deter anybody from doing this trail. So just past this bridge, you'll see a sign for the London Bicycle Cafe. I'm gonna hit that up on the way back and I'm hoping Christine and I get out for a ride tomorrow and we'll stop in there and show you what it looks like. Well, we just passed Ivy Park. It's a nice section other than just talking to a couple of ladies about the geese. I had to stop and for a moment. It's like the other day, Christine and I had to stop up here. There must have been 30 of them and with their babies, so a bit of a nuisance, but what do you do? So over to your left, you can probably see uh, part of the trail actually goes over there, and I never knew that last year, so part of the reason why I wanted to do a take two on this is also to take you up there, and actually it's quite nice. Not real long, but it gives you a different vantage point. I don't think you'll enjoy, so hang around for that. Got to be careful at that section where the Blackfriars Bridges. We'll check that out on the way back. I must have cut that from last year's video because someone commented that I didn't include the most famous bridge, so my bad, I'll check it out today. Yeah, so this section we're going to be going through is really close to Western University. It's one of my favorite sections through here. It's just so lush, so many trees, and it's kind of windy. It's a lot of fun to ride. Another example of uh, how great it is here with facilities. I just think it reminds me a little bit of Victoria. <laughs> Not around the same size and really good focus on spending money on their recreational facilities. I did the Galloping Goose Trail last year, which is amazing. Probably my top ride of last year. You can check that out in the channel, but it was similar now. A lot of people can commute on this trail, which you could do here. That guy's loving life. So we're gonna go on the other side of the river now, as I mentioned. Check out that side of the trail, different perspectives. Now we're coming up on the Blackfriars Bridge. A little history on the bridge. It's like constructed 1875. Huh? So I believe I said earlier this is just this side is, uh, I just discovered this the last ride I did here. I kind of looked over and saw it and thought, I wonder if it goes across. And, Glad he did, as I mentioned, you're going to 
come up here quickly and see some different vantage points because you're quite a bit higher than you are on the other side. And your first glimpses of downtown. Must be having a festival or something here this weekend. A little museum there, and some washrooms over here as well, this section. A nice rest, and it's heading back now. As I'm going through this section here, just to the river on my right now as I'm heading back, I just thought I'd mention as well, I've talked about you know, the river and really the connection to nature on an urban trail in the middle of a good sized city. It's really cool to have this much trees and nature and London is actually nicknamed the Four City. So, um, you know, it lives up to its reputation. All right. It's gorgeous out. Mm -hmm. Giddy up, cowgirl. <laughs> you betcha. New tires. The girl's ready to go. So I'm back on the parkway again today with my special guest, Christine. And we both love the trail. We also were actually on here this morning walking the dogs. So it's a beautiful multi purpose trail. Oh my gosh, I love these tunnels of trees. Yeah. The water beside us. I love this section. It's beautiful. This makes me smile, this trail, every time I ride on it. I'd be interested to hear what, you know, why you love being on this trail so much. Well, it's so well cared for. It's a really smooth, like it's just, it's a really smooth ride. It's well cared for. There's some challenge on it because we do have some hills and whatnot, but it's not overwhelming to me. Yeah. And there's so much diversity in terms of all the different um, landscapes, like seeing the water, then we're gonna go through parks and soccer fields. Wow. Oh my gosh, the dog whisperer, holy <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> Hi, uh -huh. wow. Hey, she's zooming, I can hardly even catch her. Uh oh, not my match. Okay, enough of this. No! Damn it! We're at the London Bicycle Cafe. A great spot just off the Thames Valley Trail. It's a couple of hundred meters. We've been here a few times, so we're going to enjoy our breakfast sandwich and cappuccino before we head back home. I think in those two weeks we've been here visiting, and I've been on the trail, I think that's my fourth or fifth time, so I haven't got sick of it yet. It's, uh, as I mentioned in the video, and Christine mentioned just how accessible it is for people. You know, so much nature, and again, the, the river views, and um, it's actually a lot of fun to rip around too, going around some of those corners, so I really, really enjoy it. I always enjoy this, this ride. Every yeah. single time, you can't not smile. Mm. It's smooth, it's zippy, it's windy, there's like downwards, speedy hills, there's a little challenge upwards. Yeah. It's always fun. Yeah. No. And navigating the geese, though, can be a little bit detrimental <laughs> to your health. Well, yeah, back there especially little, with all their babies back right there now. a little ways Christine zoomed by but I had one staring me down it was like a oh he was posturing it was like a western with Clint Eastwood in it we had the, the show down there so <laughs> I actually turned around and came back and by that time he was tension was elsewhere but I survived the encounter thankfully so <laughs> if you're in London recommend you get here if you don't have a bike make sure you come and at least hike it and take your dog here and uh, certainly one of our top rides for sure way to finish a bike ride.